I've just watched a shocking film called Apostasy, a film about a snapshot look at the life of Jehovah's Witnesses. And if you're not used to this sort of thing, you too might be shaking your head with disbelief by the end of it. Apostasy is primarily about a mother and her two daughters and what happens to them when one is disfellowshipped when she gets pregnant. You get to see how Jehovah's Witness elders make decisions that destroy families and you get a graphic insight how a mother's love for her very own daughter is replaced by love for the rules and laws that the Jehovah's Witness organisation have indoctrinated her with. If this was a fantasy film it would be unbelievable. Unfortunately, it's based on real life. If it was a play, it would be a tragedy. The film triggered so many feelings and brought back so many memories to me. And I wasn't even brought up in the JWs. And this is why I wanted to do this review, because it, I couldn't help but notice the striking similarities that are there in all religious groups that control their followers. Realising this can really help in understanding why and how these high demand cults exist and can reveal why you'd want to get free from their talons if you were in one. The film shows glimpses of the Jehovah's Witness male authoritarian control that is like the Mafia saying to someone you do as we say else you'll not be seeing your family for a very long time. It's almost like when man gets into self-righteous positions of power and that God is conditionally loving and demanding that his laws must be obeyed. It's predictable how they will act. And the damage to the followers is also predictable and plain to see. Destroyed families. This is because probably all these religious high demand leaders are unaware of a little known fact. They've never considered that there are, there are literally thousands of controlling religious groups all around the world like them, operating on exactly the same principles as they do. And they all have one thing in common. They all agree that every other group apart from their own is the wrong one. They alone have the truth. This bigoted stance that they all have makes them believe their authority is from God himself. And that's what make it, makes it so sinister as apostasy reveals this about Jehovah's Witnesses. You see the elders power dressed in their suits and ties like convincing salesmen or politicians making life-changing decisions to split up families and keep them apart. Just because they deem them not to be fully compliant to their rules and laws. In this case, Jehovah's Witness rules and laws. All the cults have their own versions. What you see them actually doing in the film is terrorising and traumatising this family. You see the indoctrinated mother replace her love for her daughter with her love for the Jehovah's Witness rules and laws. Although I've witnessed this personally with my parents, seen it happen many times before, first hand, seeing it in this film still shocked me. How on earth can man be so devious, so clever, so evil, to be able to get into the head of a mother and cause her to, her reju to reject the very children that she gave birth to? All those years of rearing up their children from birth, the conception, the pregnancy, the thrill of the newborn, those early childhood years, feeding them every day, all those school runs, each birthday, although JWs I don't think do birthdays, all the happy memories, then the bond of love shattered and removed the moment the religious laws are not followed. The conditions were not met. Love, motherly love, fatherly love too, replaced instantly by worship for just another cheap religious system of man that is decided unlike the other thousands of cheap cults, we will control our members this way, our way. We are right, your children from now on might as well be dead. They, because until they fall in line with our bigoted views, we want nothing more to do with them. That's what it's like. Shun them, else you will fall foul of the same severe treatment yourself. This is what the film Apostasy shows. These aren't uncivilised men running amok high on drugs and wielding machetes. These are men that live in normal houses in Manchester, England who wear suits and ties, have normal jobs, appear to be a normal part of society. They cause untold trauma, terror and they destroy families, the very fabric of society. Like convincing salesmen who truly believe in their product, all dressed up in their suits and ties, the elders in the film are completely indoctrinated 
So when you look into their eyes, they are 100% sincere. If you look deep enough though, you'd see that they are just weak slaves under the same control themselves. Where, are, where they are dangerous is that they are taken over by the bigotry and they believe that they are right. I know that polarised feeling very well myself. Here's how I related to the film. I was born into the exclusive brethren, a 45,000 member Christian Bible sect that started about 1830. Before I escaped after 22 years, I lived a closeted life of 10 meetings every week and strict rules that pretty much enveloped my whole life. F from who I couldn't marry to who I couldn't eat with, where I couldn't live, TV, computers and mobile phones strictly forbidden, my life fully under cultic control. My life was a can't do life. And worst of all, if anyone left our group, we were not allowed to have anything more to do with them meaning about three quarters of the people in the group lived in destroyed families. And this is what got me about the film apostasy. I got to relive my memories through the film. The self-righteousness, the we are right, the we have the truth, the sense of belonging to an elite group, the fear of the serious and solemn elders who can cut your loved ones out of your life in a heartbeat. The mourning of the loss of loved ones you may never see again. This is what religious cults do, to one degree or another. And this is why I've created the Cult Escape campaign, written my story and have published these videos once a week, all to create awareness of what goes on today, so that some may avoid joining such destructive religious groups. Some may come to see it's not what they actually want for their lives, and they may leave. Some may find healing and come to terms with this inhumane behaviour that kills, steals and destroys human life and families. Phew. Oh, I need a drink after that. Thank you for watching. Have you seen Apostasy? Dare you watch it? If so, what did you think? Please tell us in the comments and like and subscribe. And if you want to read my Cult Escape story, you can get the book of Amazon. That's it there. Or you can get it free as an ebook with Amazon Unlimited. See you soon.